So we've made it to Racine, Wisconsin here at the Case IH Magnum factory. And here I'm standing in front of a brand new 380 Magnum road track. This is an awesome machine. I think I'm actually going to take it for a spin here in a second. smooth unfortunately they won't let me take any videos inside the uh, factory because we're getting a full tour of the factory and it's gonna be a lot of neat stuff in there but no cameras allowed I think they'd care if I just cut through the grass. I want to see how it, uh, <laughs> how it rolls <laughs> in the sod. 4.2 engine hours. What do you think? Want to just drive it home? <laughs> you know what? It'll be there in a couple days. It'd be a while. Well, we made it back uh, from Racine, Wisconsin. That tour was amazing. Um, yeah, like I said, I couldn't film any of the factory, but it was just, it was awesome. We got to see uh, everything from start to finish on building a Magnum tractor. And uh, yeah, it sure was an awesome experience. But now we're here back at the uh, farm and we're gonna be working on this 6130. Um, this spreader here underneath this is like a secondary option and this combine yeah had an extra spreader on here and we're going to take that off so before we take this off of here we got to reassemble what we disassembled last year i say we you did all this yeah. I'll help you remember how this all goes. Oh yeah, it's all. Uh, You've been thinking about it. Yeah, it's all locked up there in the memory bank. See, that goes in like that. 
force your neck going just like this. It's real simple. Well, let's see if I can get this spinner on there. Let's make a mess. Let's get oil all over the place. We've got to drain out the uh, hydraulic tank here because if we take this big hose off of this block, um, it'll basically just drain all the hydraulic oil out of it anyway. So before we can take these hoses off and switch a bunch of stuff around here, we got to drain out the hydraulic tank. So let's see how this works. We've got some empty jugs here. Do you want me to hold that jug while you? Oh my. It holds, uh, I think it holds 15 gallons. I've got a picture here of a 6130 um, that doesn't have this spreader option. So this needs to come off because this goes with the spreader. And then we just got to reroute some hydraulic hoses here um, to make this all work. And then it'll be like this thing was never on here. And we're pretty much out of hydraulic oil. Just kind of barely dribbling out now. It's a pretty easy way of draining that hydraulic oil. Just, you know, you lose them and the nuts will turn off on the inside. It won't be under it. I mean, I don't think it'll fall. Let's, uh, get, let me get this forklift underneath there. Yeah, I'll get it. One more. There you go. All right, hold it situated here uh, this is a new hose here uh, we rerouted that hose um, so this is all secure I installed the new curtain here I am missing a bar um, that goes along this side uh, probably to stiffen it up so maybe it doesn't want to do this I also need to fasten the front here I'm gonna take a drill bit just drill a hole in this front curtain take a bolt and a nut and just fasten that there so that's uh, like it used to be because I have a picture of one that was sitting at Berkey's and it was fastened up here in the front and then there was a bar on the side. I was wondering why these holes were there. And I just added the oil. Um, so now we're gonna fire this thing up, uh, check for leaks. The only leaks we would have are on these two hoses uh, that we screwed with and take it outside and run it. Here goes nothing. Well, help if I open the grain tank first. Definitely should have the grain tank open. Take two. Here we go. I was wondering about that. I'm getting a uh, alarm for that spreader that we took off. I'm also getting alarmed about the sieves, but I'm getting alarmed about the spreader. Man, I can't wait to cut some beans.
Well, folks, that's going to be all for this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.